All right, guys, so September is coming to a close, so it's time to start getting ready for some Halloween. So today we're going to start playing with some Arduino. Cool, so for those of you who don't know, Arduino is a open source platform that allows you to play around with electronics. It has a pretty extensive um, library of things that you can use and a lot of sensors and um, electronics that are available for you for actually really, really cheap. Um, so anyway, today's project is um, pretty simple. So I'm making a costume, a Halloween costume for my girlfriend and it's going to have some lights. So this is where this comes from. These are some LEDs. Um, but I kind of want to choose what colors we're going to use. And I'm a pretty visual person. So I kind of want to adjust the colors as they're going to be seen live and then record the numbers that we need. So I came up with this. It's, a, it's actually pretty simple. It didn't take me that long. What it is is a color selector. So what we have here is, of course, our brains. This is the Arduino. right? This is the, what executes the code. And then we have four buttons here, and then a potentiometer. So these buttons, when you click on them, they're going to send a binary signal to the brains, right? Either on or off. And then this potentiometer is going to ch it's going to send a different amount of voltage to this analog read that this is going to interpret as a number. So the way that this is going to work is that these three buttons right here correspond to each one of the colors that an RGB LED has, right? Red, green, and blue, RGB. And then those three different colors get displayed at different ratios in the light, in the LED, and that's what gives you all the different colors that you can have. So these buttons are gonna, are gonna, set, are gonna be like the set buttons, right? This potentiometer is going to give us a value from 0 to 255, which is what this um, Adafruit NeoPixel uses um, for each one of these values. So when we twist the knob over here and we click one of these buttons, it's going to assign the value from the knob to that color. And then this button over here, whenever we press it, it's going to send us what value, what RGB values we have selected to the computer and that way we can write down the colors that we want and then use them on our project later on. So let's look at the code. Alright so let's do a quick run through of the code. Um, if you want a more detailed explanation I'm gonna do another video about it so if you don't know a lot about coding you can just check it there. Anyway so click here we're gonna declare all our pins, all our values, what we're gonna do. We're gonna um, initiate the pixels, the uh, NeoPixels, then we're going to set uh, the what our pins are going to do, then we're going we're gonna to start the, ne the NeoPixels, then uh, we're going to, in the in the loop, we're going to read what the state of all the buttons are, then we're going to read our value from our potentiometer, then we're going to assign the values to the, co to the uh, colors that we want, we're going to send the colors to the NeoPixel and execute the colors so they come, they turn on, and then if we print, press the print button, we're going to send the print to our serial screen. And for those of you who don't know, this is the button that you press to open the serial screen. All right, so let me show you how everything's wired up. All right, guys, so let's look at the wiring now. So the way that breadboards work, uh, it's, uh, they allow us to do quick prototypes without having to solder everything or use a bunch of alligator clips or whatever. So each one of these lanes on the ends run along the board and each one of these holes over here are all connected um, perpendicular to these to this line, right? So all of these are connected, all of these are connected, these two, and then all of these are connected on one side and all of these are connected on the other side. So what we have going on over here is we have the 5 volt power right going on to this whole strip and then we have the ground right going up to this whole strip right so the electrons are going in coming in from over here in the black and then going through everything else and then going back in on the red or we say that uh, you know the charge is coming from the positive to the negative right red positive black negative anyway 
So now we have our buttons, all right? Each button has one side connected to the ground, right, to the negative end, and then the, the other side, the opposite side, is connected to its corresponding digital input right here. Now the potentiometer, the way that it works is it's a variable resistor. That means that when you, when you turn the knob over here, it changes the resistor's value. So it has three pins, right? Um, one of these pins we're going to connect to ground, right, negative. The other pin on the other side we're going to connect to positive, right? And then the one in the center is the one that's going to carry our data, right? The one that's going to have the changing voltage. So we're going to plug this here and then pl plug accordingly and this yellow one is going to be our data. So our data is going into our analog read in pin right here. Now these are Adafruit NeoPixels, right? So these are, let's just say, smart RGB LEDs, right? As we saw in the code, you get to do some pretty cool stuff with them because you can chain them and do cool animations. Well, they use this, like similarly to this other one over here, you use one, K, one connection for the negative end, right, the ground, one for the voltage, and then you run this other cable that carries the data, right? The values that we're giving it to. And on this end, it's connected to the digital output pin that we determined in the code. This is gonna get pretty bright. So what I did is I grabbed a spare piece of print that I had, and we're going to diffuse the LED so that we have a more homogeneous light that is more similar to what we're going to see in the final project. So let's try it out. All right, so to operate this, first we need to assign a value to any of these colors. So you can either do that by moving the potentiometer and then pressing the button, or you can actually press down on the button and then move it and adjust the actual amount of color that you want. It's probably easier to see if I turn it off. So I'm going to turn off blue we have off red, right? And then slowly move, we can see how it starts increasing the brightness until we're at 255, and then it can let go. And then if I press the button, then you can see, oh, let's go all the way up. There you go. Now press the button, it seems like 254. It's basically there. Now, if we want to increase a little bit of green, we can turn on the knob that should be around halfway there and then press. Well, that looks kind of yellow. Well, maybe we want to adjust it to make it a little bit more yellow. Well, that makes it a little more orange. This makes it a little more green. Maybe this, maybe this is the right yellow that I want. So then I'll send print. And make note. So I want color number three. Now let's get some other cool colors. So let's start with blue. Oh, she's really gonna like this color. I think it's one of her favorites. So now that we have adjusted, I'm gonna hit print. And we number four. Now let's reset. We're gonna, I want something a little bit more purple. So I'm gonna start with strong red and maybe let's increase a little bit of blue. Maybe, there you go, that's the color I want. And then number five, purple. All right, so this is the kind of stuff that we're gonna be doing with this project. You know, if you have a project with cool lights, you can build yourself one of these real quick. It didn't take me that long. And then pick the colors that you want and see how they actually gonna look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a lot. And if you wanna keep seeing videos like this, make sure to comment and let me know. Um, I have some cool ideas for Halloween coming up. So hopefully I can get those out to you soon. See you later. Have fun.